Hangetsu. Okay, I'm here to talk to you about Hangetsu. I won't give you a history lesson or yet another name translation, but I am here to tell you things about Hangetsu that no one else will tell you. So let's get to it. Hangetsu can be considered to be a breathing cutter. You might know those type of cutters from Gozuryu and other Okinawan karate styles, those cutters where you hear the inhalation and exhalation like Exactly. Good. So, Hangetsu is the only breathing kata that we have in Shodokan. But, unfortunately, in Shodokan, we don't emphasize the breathing, which I think is a mistake. And I will explain that in a minute. But before I can do that, I need to tell you a little story first. I believe it was in 2007 when a good friend of mine helped me to have an accident during training and my ACL ruptured. Boom, kaput. I was out for several months. Pain on a daily basis, you get the picture. After a while, of course, I got angsty and wanted to start training again, but nothing really was possible. And I had a problem with every kata. There was a jump I couldn't do, or a stance that I could not do, or practicing that kata was just painful or just didn't feel right. I didn't have any confidence in my knee to make quick and sudden turns or sudden stops, like how it, how it is in all, in all our katas. So nothing seemed to work. Nothing except Hangetsu. And who likes Hangetsu? Right, like Hangetsu. Well, thanks to my ACL knee surgery, I totally changed my mind about Hangetsu. Hangetsu is actually now, some 15 years later, one of my favorite cutters because I started to realize a few things about Hangetsu. So let me tell you why Hangetsu Hangetsu is such a special cutter. But before I can tell you why, uh, I need to make a quick detour and talk about Tai Chi. What is Tai Chi? What is Tai Chi all about? Ki, the control and production of your body's life energy called Ki. So I came to the realization that Hangetsu serves this very same purpose. You can consider it to be a health cutter. Hangetsu's true secret and purpose is to take care of your body's energy and health. So let me explain and why I make this claim. There are three parts that make this kata so great and why I believe this kata was designed to be a health kata. Number one, the breath or the breathing during that kata. Number two, the tension and relaxation in this kata, and number three, the stance. So let's start with the breath or breathing, which is more obvious, but also probably a little bit more known. Uh, through the kata's deep breathing, the kata aims your focus towards inhalation and exhalation, and that helps you to make full use out of your diaphragm and your lungs. So the breath is key to your body's energy and having a kata dedicated to breathing and breathing techniques is my, is my first pointer why this kata is a health kata. Just like traditional yoga focuses on the breath and uses the breath to help you to connect with your body's energy and the energy around you. So the breath is key. That's why I believe it is a mistake that we don't emphasize the breath in Shodokan more. Okay. So, to make it more interesting, do you know that there are actually three ways of executing the kata hangetsu when it comes to breathing and breathing techniques? Well, that's a little bit more complex and I really, and it's really only for higher ranks. But if there's an interest, let me know and I will make another video about this. Anyway, let's move on to point number two, the tension and relaxation in the kata. We all have tension. There's muscular tension and there there's mental or psychological tension. 
if you're intuitive, uh, then you are maybe aware of some of that tension. But other parts of your emotional tension uh, happen subconsciously. So we all have tension. How do you get rid of your tension? That's the question. Well, one thing that psychologists do is have you actively, with intention, tense your muscles and then let go. As you let go of your muscular tension, you also always let go just a little bit of your emotional tension. So active tension and then relaxation. Sounds a little bit like Hangetsu to me. That's why the tension and relaxation of Hangetsu is my second pointer why I believe that this kata is a health kata. Hangetsu helps you to relax. So, but now let's get to the point number three, the main point, but also the most difficult point to explain. We have in karate two types of stances, and those two types of stances are Number one, kibaburui stances, where the energy flow is outwards. Those stances are Senkutsudachi, Kokutsudachi, Kibarachi, Fudodachi, or Sochindachi, and then last, Shikudachi. Not really a Shotokan stance, but I gotta mention it to sound really smart. And then we have Hangetsu burui stances, where energy flows inwards. Those stances are Hangetsu Dachi, Sanchin Dachi, Neko Ashi Dachi, Sagi Ashi Dachi, or Ashi Dachi, the single leg stance that you know from Gankaku. All the Kibaburi stances have energy flow inwards. Hangetsu Dachi, with its inwards tension where you compress the knees inwards, all that is done to move energy and energy flow towards your lower abdomen called tandem. This is where your body's energy center lies. All the Hangetsu Bori stances have that inward pressure or compression towards the center of your body, towards your tandem. Now, you combine all those three things together, the breath, the muscular tension, and relaxation in your upper body with the tension and the relaxation in your lower body and a stance that moves energy towards your tendon, tendon. What do you get? You get like one big pump, one big pump that circulates blood, energy, and with that key inside of your body. There you go. This is why Hangetsu is a health cutter. So, what does that mean for you? Do more breathing exercise to reduce tension. Give Hangetsu more credit, way more credit, and start practicing that kata. Don't roll your eyes at Sensei when he calls out Hangetsu. You are not doing this weird kata with this weird stance, but try to look at it this way. Every time you do Hangetsu, you are taking a bunch of free energy pills. Great. Hangetsu energizes your body. Just think like that. Start liking the kata. It's good for you. If you're getting older, like me, or you were injured, like me, then maybe you should consider Hangetsu as one of your favorite Tokui katas. Who actually doesn't get older? Anyway, I believe that the correct performed Hangetsu Kata is only possible from the rank of maybe Yondan and up. That's when I believe you can really start to understand and appreciate this Kata. Sure, a lot of young people can make this Kata look very good, but let's not confuse athleticism with the deeper wisdom that is hidden in that Kata and really only unlocks after decades of practice. So start to practice Hangetsu from early on because you have a long way ahead of you. Let's go.